All right, for some of you, you are maybe forced in a way, in some sense, out of your comfort zone, but it is walking your own journey. It is essential to stay on your own path. Um, there can be distractions, people trying to di di um, indirectly reroute you, so to speak, or instill fear, but it is essential to stay on the path that you are on and your own path because you know what is right for you. So walk your own journey. You know what your ambitions and goals are. So that is an important message for some, okay? Now, I am seeing here temptation, uh, fear um, for some of you. It's like, you know, you test the water out with your foot and it's too cold. And you're like, I ain't jumping in. But if you do jump in, yeah, it's initially cold, but it warms up really quickly too. Okay, you, you adjust to things. So keep th keep that in mind. Okay, so that's one thing that's really strongly indicated here. Now, I do see for some of you, you may be going on some kind of a retreat. This could be oh, rehab for some of you. Something like eight weeks is possible. For others of you, this is like a spiritual retreat or you just take a really quick staycation or something like that. There is a recovery. You, uh, recuperation is definitely showing up here. Rest and relaxation is very important. For a lot of you, meditation will help. It will bring you epiphanies. It will calm the nerves. You have a sense of renewal. This is sometimes like quietly counting the blessings that we have and rethinking um, some things. So taking some time to rest, think things, uh, think things over um, is going to be very, very um, important. That's going to create some stability or finding some kind of solutions. So I'm seeing that. For some of you, definitely um, watch the health and well-being, okay? It's important, I keep seeing, to walk your own journey this week too. Messages are going to be important. I saw that for a few signs. That's really becoming a theme. Um, this is news coming in, social media messages, text calls. Um, this is like good news coming in, even thoughts of travel. So we are seeing that kind of energy. Um, I do see here people find you quite attractive this week. Handsome, attractive, whatever. Um, so there's a really nice aura around you as well. So this is a good time to beam with confidence, okay? Because that's your power as well. You could be dealing with two females this week, okay? Now, for some of you, this could be a female that's um, a fire sign energy. She may be exaggerating, playing victim, um, over the top a bit. For some of you, may stop talking to this person. This could be an end of a friendship. Or this person, um, it's a karma between you or something for some of you is completed, okay? So I do feel that energy, and it looks like a female. Um, the world's your oyster. Definitely, you have many opportunities. This could be long distance travel. There is success and victory. Um, things will. It's like getting things done. Um, a sense of completions and commencing a new cycle here as well. I do see that you may shut down communications with someone. You may kind of either ghost them or not talk to someone. So I do see that. Your words have power this week, though, too. So, yeah. For a lot of you, what didn't kill you only made you stronger and you're more um, willing to take a leap of faith or be more individualistic, just doing what you know is right for you. So I do like that energy, being more true to yourself. So I do see that energy. You're thinking of something more in a logical sense than an emotional sense, but you could be highly sensitive too. So yeah, be careful of that too. For some of you, it could be strengthening a bond in a relationship, even though you're not even wanting to so things could just kind of come up where you kind of have a meeting of the mind so i do see that